Hey guys, this is Charles Blair here, and I'm shooting this quick video to show you exactly how to use the search tool, the CL Virtual Spider. If you notice, I have it opened already on my desktop. I'm going to click the Show Details View Points portion of it right here, and it's going to open up and show you all the details of your search results once you start doing your searches. Now, the system is very easy to use, and basically what you're doing is you're extracting emails from Craigslist so that you can do your marketing. Everything you do in this system revolves around your settings. So if you go to your settings pad at the top, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. You, we're going to be going back and forth to this tab about four or five times. So just remember, all of your stuff that you basically do in your basic operations of your CL Virtual Spider starts with your settings. So you click on your settings, and you'll go down to the bottom to this little icon that looks like a wrench, and then you click on settings again. This will bring up the screen that gives you uh, three different windows to choose from. Departments is actually the categories in Craigslist and the community in Craigslist that you want to choose from, where you make your selections from. Locations is actually what city in the United States and actually in the world that you want to choose to uh, do your extraction from, whatever city. And to the right here, you have the settings area where you can choose the date and stuff that you want to choose from to do your searches. Let's start with over here in the department section, where it's actually going into all the Craigslist categories that you select and highlight and making all your extractions from those area. For the sake of this one, I'm going to choose the real estate for sale section, or real estate for all. If I go right here, you notice I have the tab that says real estate all. I'm sorry, clicked on the wrong ones. Uh, let's take the X check out of there, and take the check out of there, and let's select right here real estate all. This is where I'm going to choose the community that I'm trying to search from. I want to extract emails from this area right here, real estate all. If I go over here to the right, the middle screen, I'm able to choose which city uh, to choose from. I'm going to choose Baltimore City. Now the computer is running a little slow, not to worry, but you'll be seeing Baltimore in a minute. There you go. Now, once I select Baltimore City, you basically done 75% uh, of the work here. You've already chose the category you want to search, real estate for all. You've already chose the city you want to search, Baltimore City. Now, all you have to do is select the, the dates and time in which you want to make your search from. I like to do I like to do either one or two week search criteria. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to choose one week. Uh, so basically, I hit the drop down window to the right and select the date one week. It by default it automatically puts today's date in. So one week from today would have been the fourth. So from the fourth to the eleventh, this is the search I want to do. This is where I want to search email addresses from all the posts that came in the real estate for sales section from December the fourth to December eleventh. Now we can do some filtering if we want to. I'll leave that blank. We can also add keywords in here. Let's say we want to only search for um, real estate for sale by owner or owner finance deals. We can do that. Excuse me. Simply by putting the keyword um, "real estate by owner" or "real estate for sale by owner," and we can only find those ads that have that in there. Now, once we've made these two selections, we just basically click Save Settings. Half of the work is done. Now we came back to this default screen. Now we go up here to the top, click on the Settings box again. Next, we're going to basically tell Craigslist what email addresses we want to collect. We can either select all by default; that's already selected or we can select only Craigslist email addresses or only personal email addresses. We get to choose either or. So we're going to use the default setting all. Next we can tell Craigslist to automatically remove duplicates. You just click on that, the screen closes, and basically you go back to the settings screens again. Remember, everything starts from your settings screen. Your settings screen has all your criteria that you're going to choose from when you're just doing your basic operations. You basically skip past the CSV format settings. Um, auto save settings. This is where you know, our next area will select from. You click on enable auto save. This will tell Craigslist that you want to save all the results. Once you click on it, it's going to close up. Then you'll be able to go back to it and check and see actually if it was selected. Now you have a checkbox right next to enable auto save. The next thing you want to do in this category is click and set interval. 
by clicking on set interval this tells CL virtual spider that you want how many email addresses you want in each Excel spreadsheet remember CL virtual spider automatically puts these emails in an Excel spreadsheet so that you can start emailing them out using whatever mail, mail program you have so the set interval we have this default setting of 100 you can have it 500 that means that the CL virtual spider will put 500 email addresses into each Excel spreadsheet I'm going to keep this default setting at 100 and we'll keep it there then we'll just hit save go back to settings again next we can go back to auto save again the last thing we have to do in here is to set your output folder and this basically tells Craigslist DL virtual spider um, where you want to put your folder that has all your Excel spreadsheets that's going to have your email addresses uh, I like to put mine on my desktop so I'll click that and then I'm going to say make a new folder on my desktop since that was the area I selected was desktop it's going to click make new folder that folder will call Baltimore 1 now I'm going to click OK and see how virtual spider just put a folder on my desktop called Baltimore 1 that's where it's going to automatically save all my information now you are basically all you have to do is just click the start button and the CL Virtual Spider automatically starts working. You know it's working because of the extraction that has occurred. You see all the information it has collected right here, as well as how many email addresses it has collected so far 20, 22, 24, 25. It goes on and on. Locations it's going to, the advertisements it's going to search through, and so forth, and how many time, what's the time elapsed of the software has worked so far. Uh, I mean, this thing is just really rolling. It goes by whatever internet connection you have. So you have to be already on the internet in order to start using your search your CL virtual spider you notice that basically it just starts searching Craigslist pulling out the email addresses pulling out the subject lines of the post that's on there and after 100 it automatically starts back up again that's exactly what you just saw it just started from 100 and then it starts back over to another uh, collection of email addresses and subject lines and all that stuff and we're going to show you exactly what happens it's going to put it in an Excel spreadsheet on our desktop so I'm going to stop it in a minute uh, once it gets to another 100 I'm going to stop it and you're going to see that the CL Virtual Spider has collected 200 email addresses addresses and had put it into so far uh, two Excel spreadsheets on my desktop I'm waiting for the emails up here to go to 100 so that I can show this to you guys once it reached that then I'm going to hit the stop button so I can go ahead and show you exactly where it's at it just reached that I'm going to hit the stop button now and I'm going to minimize this screen so that I can pull and open up this email right here I'm mean, sorry pull and open up this folder which is called Baltimore one that I already told CL virtual spider to put on my desktop and once I open up you notice I have two Excel spreadsheets in here each of these will probably have about a hundred or hundred and one email addresses as well as the subject and so forth so I'll click and open it up and once it opens up you'll see the email addresses it has collected you'll also see the different posts that it has collected I'm sorry the actual um, subjects of the post that it has collected as well as the location where it's at um, right here to the left here is where we have the different email addresses it has collected I'll open this up a little bit you'll be able to see them um, you have the subject lines and you also have right here the actual URL of the actual posts so now you can actually look at all these email addresses and see exactly the ones that is collected from Craigslist personal email addresses Craigslist email addresses all that and now you can actually market to these individuals of your services how does you have for sale and so forth remember one thing you don't want to do is spam and what I mean by that is if a person is saying they have a house for sale you don't want to try to sell them a car that's spamming so basically use the services that the person is asking for market to them if they're looking for houses for sale tell them about your houses for sale if you have they're looking for a house to rent tell them about your houses for rent you should be fine working with Craigslist no issues whatsoever this is a powerful tool it's going to make you more money get your houses sold get your properties rented you'll be able to do all these things with CL Virtual Spider and let me know exactly what features you want added remember we're in the beta stage right now so please contact me with any comments you may have at C Blair 109 at gmail.com that C the letter C B L A I R 109 at gmail.com take care and I'll see you on the other side bye bye